Pneumatic nailers, more commonly referred to as nail guns, have certainly made work more efficient, but their speed and power has led to serious injuries on the job. This video will provide workers with information they need to prevent nail gun accidents. Nail guns are a leading cause of injury for carpenters and are responsible for an estimated 25,000 work-related emergency room visits each year. These accidents can occur from unintentional discharge from double fire, or knocking the safety contact with the trigger squeezed. Other injuries occur when a nail goes through a lumber workpiece or ricochets after striking a hard surface, metal, or wood knot. Injuries can also occur when bypassing safety mechanisms. Operating a nail gun safely starts with reviewing the instruction manual carefully and making sure that manufacturer's tool labels and safety instructions are understood and followed. Workers who have not been trained should not use the tool. When working with or near a nail gun, always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. Safety glasses to protect from dust or nail injury, hard hat to protect your head from flying or falling objects, and earplugs or muffs to protect your ears from the tool's exhaust noise. Always handle the tool carefully and inspect the tool before each use. Check the tool's overall condition and whether the safety mechanisms are in working order and test them before operation. Ensure that hoses are free from damages like cracks or weak points and loose screws. Always assume the tool is loaded and contains nails Therefore, never point the tool at anyone. When using the nailer, keep the work area clear and litter-free and maintain good footing and balance while nailing. Exercise extreme caution when using a nailer around another worker. Only those involved in the work should be in the area. Ensure that no one is working below when working at heights. When working leading edges, such as a rooftop, nail as you move forward because it's easy to lose your footing if moving backwards. Check walls, ceilings, floors, roofing before nailing to avoid nail penetration through lumber work or striking wires, plumbing pipes, or conduit. Do not push the trigger unless the nose of the tool is firmly pressed against the work material. When the air hose is connected to the tool, Never walk around with your finger on the trigger or climb or descend a ladder while holding the nail gun. When nailing against a perpendicular surface, nail from the top to the bottom, which will result in less fatigue. Never attempt to remove or bypass safety devices, triggers, or contact springs in order to speed up the process of nailing. Operate the tool within the specified air pressure on the tool label for safety and longer tool life. Do not exceed the manufacturer's specified air pressure for the tool. Use only compressed air to power the tool. Never use bottled gas, which can cause the tool to explode. Make sure that the air compressor's belt wheel is properly guarded. When cleaning, unjamming, or adjusting a nail gun, when leaving a nailer unattended, or moving the tool to another location, you should always make sure to disconnect the air supply. If you find a problem with the nail gun, always tag defective tools with do not use and take it out of service for disposal. Finally, consider using a nail gun with a sequential trigger instead of a contact trip trigger, which requires the nose of the gun to be depressed before the trigger is pulled. This mechanism helps the inadvertent discharge of nails. Contact trip triggers allow the tool to release a nail anytime the trigger and the nose of the gun are both depressed. This is the type of trigger that allows bump or bounce nailing. When used properly following all tool instructions, nailers can effectively cut the time it takes to complete a job in half and significantly reduce the chance of a serious injury.